All right, 850 here, Big 550 KTRS. Let me quickly tell you about a great small business right before the small business segment with Jennifer Williams. I'm talking about Bowen Dental Care. Whether it's uh, teeth whitening, uh, root canal, kids, braces, uh, Invisalign, uh, caps, and, of course, dental implants. That's where Bowen Dental Care comes in, B-O-A-I-N, Bowen Dental Care. Remember years ago when there was a family dentist on every corner? Well, that doesn't exist anymore unless, of course, you think about Bowen Dental Care. Many of those dentists have sold out to the corporations, but not Bowen Dental Care. Still very much family run. People have been there for generations. He got it from his father and everybody knows everybody at bowen dental care and all the work is done right there on dunn road so for dental implants or any other dental needs b-o-a-i-n bowen dental care or bowendentalcare.com each and every month we check in with jennifer williams who is a small business guru who helps us with small business things because everyone's a small business good morning jennifer williams good morning good mcgraw how, how are, are you good how are you Great, I'm missing Kelly. Yes, you and me both. Maybe she's listening. She threw her back out. I know, I heard one yeah, thing. Which you can not You can talk, doesn't hurt your voice when you throw your back out. I know, she could call in. <laughs> she, could, she could do it. She, she's, not, she's not reading the news with her back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are we talking about today? Well, you know, I had this nice typed out, as you can see here, scripts talking about newsletter ideas yes. for small businesses. Mm. And I was sitting in my car listening to your show. Um talking about the weather and politics and your your different customers and i was like you know let's talk about some more current things okay so okay weather and business yes weather and business is crazy i was just talking to a car salesman yesterday who came into my showroom and i said how is business he said business is terrible for us right now and i was surprised and he said no when it's cold outside people don't test drive cars right and i was sort of surprised to hear that obviously if we have a snowstorm an ice storm it can shut down restaurants it can shut down uh you had greg warren on the other day he's doing a comedy routine right. and, and nobody came because right. of an ice storm right <laughs> you know at st louis closet company weather affects us in a positive way change of weather like right now everybody's getting ready to go on spring break right it's 74 one day, it's 19 the other day. People are digging through their closets, pulling out their sweaters and their swimsuits at the same time. So for us, change of weather is a positive thing. But it's one of those things as a small business owner, you have no control over. Right. And if you lose business, let's say Saturdays are your big day and it's a terrible snowstorm, you can't ever get that day back. Right. And it's just one of those unfortunate things. And yet, it's sometimes, weather can mean everything. Imagine if you're a restaurant and you have an outdoor patio. Right. Right? Great weather can mean everything. There's a little local restaurant in Kirkwood who, it's one of my favorite restaurants, but they don't have an outdoor patio. And he said, I'm losing business on good weather days. So weather is like this crazy thing. The other thing is politics. Yes. I want to talk about politics. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I don't want to talk about politics. That's the problem. And as a small business owner, I am finding myself really traumatized by what's going on in our world right now. And I feel like there's so much happening every day. And yet, as a small business owner, you can't say anything because you don't want to offend anybody. Right. You don't know what side anybody's on. And yet it seems so crazy and so exhausting. And I feel like it's affecting small business owners. Yeah. Because you can't talk about it with your employees. Right. And you can't talk about it with your customers. And yet I'm still surprised at how many people walk into our business every day and you, you would just say something like, well, so what do you think about politics or how are things going? And they say, oh, we just don't listen anymore. Right. And I, are you a little worried? That <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're not paying attention to what's going on in the world? Wait, what? And, and as a small business owner, I mean, the stock market is going up every day. That's good for business. People seem to be spending money again. Right. That's great. Um, and, you know, if we're going to be getting some tax reforms, that's always great. Right. This time of year, we just did our, our tax returns were due today, I think. Is today the 15th? Yesterday. Uh, the, yeah. They for, were due yesterday. For, for business. For, for businesses, business. right. for businesses, right. our tax returns were due yesterday, and we spent over ten thousand dollars in accounting fees, figuring out just all the different tax 
laws and stuff. So I wouldn't be happy with that. Forget the politics. The fact that you spent that much exactly. much money trying to pay the government money. Trying to pay them money. Yeah. And I'm sure we got it wrong, right? right? And we'll have something <laughs> we have to pay later. So politics seems to be really affecting. And then earlier you were talking about health care. Right. And as a small business owner, we don't know. Right. We don't know anything about health care. I don't care how much I read about it, how much I study about it, how much my insurance agent comes in and tells me about it. it it's exhausting. It's exhausting. The whole thing is exhausting. And it's sensory overload. And you just want to get off. I, those people who say, I stopped listening, I applaud them. I would love to, like, not pay attention. Um, and I fight it every day. You're back and forth. Do you, do you talk about it today? Do you not talk about it today? People don't want to hear it, but you can't stop watching. Right. And as a small business owner, things like health care, this is really, really important. And there is not enough hours in the day for me to try to figure out what my employees should do. We offer health insurance. We have a plan. Is it great? I don't think so. Is it expensive? Yes. It goes up every year. People get mad at me. Right. I don't know what to do. And it's, it is such politics, government, health insurance is so overwhelming for small businesses that sometimes I think a lot of small businesses that do go out of business, those are some of the reasons. Yeah. They cannot figure out the tax codes. Mm -hmm. They can't afford the lawyers, the too, accountants. Too many things out of their control get in the business, get in the way of them selling their widget. Absolutely. I just want to sell you a custom closet. Right. I want to make your life happy <laughs> and organized. And yet I spend most of my day talking to accountants, figuring out forms, deciding what health insurance package we're going to offer or not offer, how much it's going to cost. And it's really it's frustrating as a small business owner because – so many things, like you said, out of your control. Right. You can't. No, it's true. You uh, can't work on. I got 30 seconds. How's the uh, renovation going mm. to the uh, showroom? It's going fabulous. We have, okay, so I told you last month we are bringing in new wood grain colors. Yes. You're going to love them. Okay. Um, espresso and slate. These are raised Ooh. grain laminates that mm. look like real wood. They're nice. beautiful. We are installing 17 new displays, repainting the whole showroom, new lighting, we have new glass door types, garage feet, everything. It is, it's amazing. St. Louis Closet Co. com. St. Louis Closet Co. com for everything else. Thanks for coming in.